In this video, we will find the derivative of the function y is equal to square root of x plus 1 upon square root of x minus 1. So first we will take the derivative on both sides. So we have dy by dx is equal to d by dx of square root of x plus 1 upon square root of x minus 1. Now we know that the derivative of the fraction u upon v is equal to v times derivative of u minus u times derivative of v upon v square. So here we can see that we have square root of x plus 1 in place of u and square root of x minus 1 in place of v. So first we will write v which is square root of x minus 1 then the derivative of u so we will write the derivative of square root of x plus 1 minus u u is a square root of x plus 1 and v the derivative of v is, is d by dx of square root of x minus 1 upon square root of x minus 1 whole square <coughs> now we will apply this derivative on both the terms so we have d by dx of square root of x minus d by dx plus d by dx of square root of 1 sorry plus d by dx of 1 minus the square root of x plus 1 then the derivative of square root of x minus derivative of 1 upon square root of x minus 1 whole square Now the derivative of square root of x is 1 upon 2 square root of x and the derivative of 1 is 0. Then again the derivative of square root of x is 1 upon 2 square root of x minus derivative of 1 is 0. Now this can be written as square root of x minus 1 upon 2 square root of x minus square root of x plus 1 upon 2 square root of x and in the denominator we have square of square root of x minus 1 upon 1 now in the numerator we have two fractions and the denominators are same so we can add the numerator, subtract the numerator. And the fraction in the denominator can be written as 1 upon square root of x minus 1 whole square. Now we have a square root of x minus 1 minus a square root of x minus 1 upon 2 square root of x multiply by 1 upon square of square root of x minus 1 now square root of x minus square root of x is 0 so we have minus 2 upon 2 square root of x multiply by 1 upon square root of x minus 1 whole square now this 2 and this 2 can be cancelled so the final answer is minus 1 upon square root of x multiplied by square root of x minus 1 whole square and this is the required answer.